thing you need in this world and the next is here. Give it everything that they got. Eight by eight. 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 Eight by you can meet with God and have a conversation with God. Here. 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 Right here. Right here. 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 And it's possible. You can even do it here at the car wash. Here. And so we're going to challenge you, yes you, youth and even the entire church, if you want to join us, if you want to make sure that all the youth are accountable, is that for the next 80 days, we're going to give them what's called the 8 by 8 challenge. So what is eight by eight? It's a challenge and we're challenging the students, the parents, and even the church. And it's not another program, it's not another event, it's not even another thing that we can add on the calendar. And frankly, it won't cost you a dime. It will only cost you time and energy. And it's gonna be a worthy investment for you and yours. So here's the challenge. It's gonna be eight minutes of prayer, eight minutes of worship, and eight minutes of devotion. And then eight days, out of the 80 days we're gonna be doing this, we're gonna to fast together, and it's gonna bring us closer together. The prayer portion, we're gonna pray for eight minutes. It's just a conversation with God, and you can do it anywhere. Eight minutes of worship every single day. We encourage you to find some music that is uplifting and that will glorify Jesus Christ. Each day we will have a suggested song and each week we will have a suggested playlist. Hi, Hi Connect students. We are so excited about the 8x8. I would like you to go download the YouVersion app. Parents, if you can download as well to support our students. We are so excited. We will be reading through the book of Acts in 80 days. So we will be fasting eight 
days out of the 80 days, we will be doing this eight by eight challenge. And with that fast, it will be, you skip one meal in the evening, and then you fast all the way through the night. You fast breakfast, lunch, and then you can eat at your next meal, which is dinner the next day. This is called a Jewish fast. What's 8 by 8 for? To connect each student with God's word, not only on a congregational level, but on a personal level. To connect each student with God through worship. Worship in private time will overflow in their public lives. To connect each student in a two-sided conversation with God. A healthy diet of combo with God helps avoid a ton of pitfalls. To connect students with the discipline of fasting. To connect students with the mission of the church which is glorify God and make disciples. This is called a challenge because it will be challenging and it won't be easy. But it's a discipline I believe that if you learn now and if we do it as a church even, we'll see spiritual growth and we'll see unity. And we'll see students, they won't be angels after this but they will entertain the presence of God. And the presence of God will become real for them, not just in the four corners of this church, but in the four corners of the, of the room. And wherever they go, they'll recognize that God is present and God is able to do anything. Their faith is going to rise. And the best way we can fight for our students is to teach them how to fight. Because we believe, and we back our pastor in this, that we and the students are more than just a hill of beans. They are worth fighting for. I see a hill and a field worth fighting for. I've had enough of the enemy preying on people's pain and firing addiction at them like arrows. Let me tell you, this is more than a hill of beans. This is life and death. This is heaven and hell. This is eternity. And we will stand before God on that day to give account to God for how we fought or did not fight for the souls in our city. Every soul in our city belongs to God, whether they know it or not, whether they realize it or not. Every soul in our city belongs to God. So we're fighting. We're fighting for our city and for our friends and for our family and for our neighbors. We're fighting for our own souls. We're fighting for our kids, for our church, for our future. I encourage you to try your best every single day, starting this Monday. Eight minutes of worship, eight minutes of prayer, eight minutes of devotion. And let's just see what God will do.